hello guys welcome back to our channel planet for tech i hope you all are doing great and learning lots by watching all the continuous episode of the series php beginner to master so guys today in the continuing session i am going to describe you the new concept of the php like how we can export the data in a csv format so today we are going to understand this uh, concept to export the data in a csv format for this uh, we basically need four stops uh, four steps we need to follow here you can see so in the first step we are going to create one database and the table in the mysql and then after we are going to create one connection.php so this connection.php we will create just to connect our php application with the mysql there we are going to uh, have uh, some information related data like a host name username password this all we will see uh, in a practical way and then after we have to uh, create one ui means a user interface we will create there uh, we will have some data in a tabular format and we are going to export the data in a csv format in last step we have to create one csv generator php file so we are going to create one export.php file so in that php in this php file we are going to write the concepts of uh, php and the line of code so that uh, we, uh, that will be allow us to export the data so these four steps we have to follow and uh, it will be done easily so let's start it one by one so here i have started my vs code and i am going to create the first file of that first file we can say index.file but before going ahead let me show you the step we, we should go there step by step so for the first step we have to create the database and the mysql table so let me start the database tool so i am using the db ever so here i am going to create the database create on create new database so going to create a uh, export whatever database you want you can keep so one database you can create or you can export table of existing database as well so in inside this I am going to create one table so for that I am going to write one query so let me start SQL script window here so here I am going to write uh, some query so I am going to so you can see here I have created the data table here say so, uh, query and uh, just this query there is no data right now so we are going to add data in this table and uh, now come to the next step so first step was what we have to create one database and the table so this we have done let me start vs code so in this vs code i am going to create one file that is connection.php so in this we are going to write the code which is uh, allowing us to connect with the mysql using php so as usual php tag and to connect with the mysql we can we are going to use mysql i connect so this uh, in a very uh, broad way i have described in other episodes so you guys can watch it i am going to tag it on the top of this um, right top screen i have created that name only we have to pass so here you can validate export csv demo i have passed here now we are using the mysqli connect so you can see mysqli function is there and in this we are going to pass this information host name username password and database name here we have checked the connectivity it is connected or not let me show you in the browser is it working or not so here in the browser simply we need to type connection.php just to check so it is not showing any message any error message it means it is connected because we are we ha here we have mentioned like if there is any error so it should show like this is the, there is an error so here one thing you have to notice the variable connection name we have created c w n so this connection we are going to use for further uh, query so here we have done with the step two as well now come to the step three so in the step three we are going to create one ui user interface with the help of html and css for this i am going to create one file here in this vs code i am creating index dot php line number is doing what it is just reading the uh, data from the database so here we have to do the little modification so we have the connection c u double o n and uh, we are reading from emp table so this is uh, for the id this is for first name last name and email gender country created and and all so here we have uh, one if condition like status is equal to one so we are showing as active otherwise we are showing as inactive so these all uh, basic things we are doing here and in, at last you can see we have mentioned like there is no records found so call call spawn is seven because we have this seven column if there is no record so it will simply say no records found so let me show it in a browser 
but one thing we have to notice as we are using the connection variable and we know that this connection is created in other file that file is what connection.php so don't forget to include this connection.php in the index.php otherwise it will say some error because the connection.php connection variable is not at, uh, defined in the index.php so to avoid this we have to include it first so on the top you can include it so for that we need php tag here we have to include uh, include once or a, or else you can keep it require once because this is the first requirement require once so here we have to add connection dot php now it is uh, connected and let me show it in a browser so you all can see in the browser it is showing like this currently there is no no, no members found that is why it is saying and this is the export button uh, we are going to click on this button so this button will uh, export the record in a csv format so this is all about the uh, you can say step number uh, three now the most important part that we are going to cover in this step four is uh, we are going to create export.php so this is the file where we, you have to concentrate because in this file only we are going to write main logic which is going to help us to export the data in a csv format so let's start it first we need to create another file that is export.php here so i am creating that file export.php now in this export.php we have to write the logic of exporting the code so for time saving purpose i just uh, i'm just uh, doing it here fast so guys you can see here uh, this is the complete code uh, logic to export the file this is export.php here in the first we have connected we have included that connection.php because this is going to provide us connection and on the basis of this connection we are going to fetch the data from the database as well so here uh, this query is fetching all the records from the table and we are again running uh, one loop so firstly what we do we just need to have the delimiter like uh, it is a csv csv means comma separated value so for that there is a one comma which is going to work as a separator so this separator is called as delimiter here in this csv after that the file name we have so this is the file name uh, going to be generated so this is the file name uh, and here date i have appended to make it unique and the csv the extension of the file so firstly what we are doing we are just writing this file in the php memory so that is why we just uh, uh, have the php memory and the write mode means we are writing the file on php memory memory this is the temp location every php server maintains now come to the next line here we are just uh, setting the column header like uh, what column we are expecting there in the in that csv so the column is you can customize this column name as per your wish uh, this would not be similar to the database if you want you can keep it so uh, the first is id first name last name as per your wish you can keep the column name here and after that we are just calling the put csv so guys you have to make a note here this is the f put csv f stand from file put means we are putting the value in a csv format so f put csv this is the built-in function of php it basically what it does it just write the content on a csp file so this is what it is doing so this is the file handler the first argument and the second argument is what header we are passing the fields header and the last one is what head uh, delimiter so with the help of this we can have the comma separated value so delimiter means semit separator here so this is what comma here now come to the next line so here you can see we are just uh, uh, looping the content because we can have more than one content so we are just looping here and again we are creating the line data means uh, record we are creating we know like uh, there is a row which is fetching all the data so this row id row first name last name so one thing you have to notice the order of this uh, line data must be similar to your header so in the header we have first time id so here also we should uh, keep the id and the first name is the second data so, so here you can see the first name is the second data and every line we have to put in a uh, csv file same csv file so we are passing the same handler what we have passed here so again the same function we are calling 
app port csv so the same uh, data we are passing and at last you can see once the loop is uh, completed we have to uh, simply uh, close that file handler so here we are calling f6 so it is moving back to the beginning of the file and just closing the file and at last we need to pass some header to the browser then only uh, browser will understand like what kind what kind of this data is so here you can see the content type we have mentioned text csv so this is very important if you are not mentioning this header it means that data is not going to be downloaded in a csv format so we need to specify a browser like uh, what kind of data we are going to render like in my previous episode i have shown you how to generate the capture so there i have shown you like the header content type so here i have mentioned image and jpg so th that time we were just uh, rendering the image kind of data and here we are rendering the csv data so we need to specify in a header like what text and csv data we are going to render and the last is what content disposition content disposition means we are going to dispose that content either in a file format or in a browser we are going to display it so we are here uh, we are expecting that uh, to the content should be downloadable that is why content disposition we have mentioned so what kind of it it is attachment kind and the file name we have passed the file name as well and at the last you can see app pass through so here what we are it is doing it is just outputting all the remaining data on a file pointer and finally it is just uh, exiting this code it means the file is going to be uh, downloaded instead of being rendered so this much logic we have written in the export.php and you have to mostly focus in this export.php only because remaining other part are very common one but export.php is having all the logic now let's see how it is working but before that we need to link this export.php export file export php file with this uh, export button so here we have one export button you can see so in that only we have to link this file so this is this should be export.php now let's see in the browser uh, one more thing uh, here i have removed that if condition because if there is no data so it is not going to generate that is not good thing if there is no data so it should generate the blank csv so i have just removed the if condition which i have used in the beginning now let's see in the browser how it is behaving so guys uh, in the browser if i am clicking this export so it should download one csv file you can see it is downloading the csv file in the bottom let me open it now you can see this csv file is having uh, all those column what we have expected like status and uh, create uh, country gender email last name first name and all so this all we have because the data is there is no data so it is showing only the field only so let me put some data there in that mysql table then after we can see exactly how it is exporting the data so here we can add few data let me add first so we can see there is a data but it is showing in a encrypted way because there is no space so the status created gender email last name first name and uh, id it is showing in a uh, you can say rtl means right to left uh, way i think there is some setting disturbed in my my uh, in the you can say this uh, ms excel so let me open this in a notepad format so that i can show you this is this is showing in proper way in my ms excel there is some setting disturb i get that is why it is showing in rtl right to left format uh, let me show you they are in the notepad so guys in the notepad you can see it is showing in a proper order so first is id first name last name email so in this way you can see we have the here other information as well so we have done this part and the last four step also done so guys for this episode this much and in the next episode i am going to bring the new concept and topic of the php so till that just do practice and keep watching all the episode continuously and if you like our efforts don't forget to like and share among your friends and if you haven't subscribed so subscribe and press the bell icon to get the latest notification on our upcoming episodes so thank you guys thank you.